The Magical Wooden Ladle Story Once upon a time, there was a girl who loves cooking named Ina. She comes from a poor family, but although they are not rich, she works hard to fulfill her dreams to become one of the best cook in their country. Her family owns a small carinderia in Pampanga, the province of Pampanga, known as the food capital of the Philippines, and most of Kapampangan people are really good when it comes to cooking, but not Ina. Manyaman na po ba, Nay? Ina burst with excitement after cooking their new recipe. Ali yung pangit ng luto mo. Pwe, masasarap pa yung luto ng iba kaysa sa luto mo. Kasi yung luto mo, ang pangit-pangit kasi yung pangit mo. <laughs> Kai said with teasing tone. Magtigil ka nga sa pangasa, Kai. Palagi mo na lang iniinis ang ate mo. Pero sa totoo lang, parang may kulang pa din, anak. Her father answered. Ina becomes upset by her father's answer. Kai? She said. Sa tingin ko po ay dapat tumigil na huwag ko sa pagluluto. Kahit naman anong practice ko, hindi pa rin sapat. Her father signed. Anak, hindi naman kailangan madaliin. Lahat ng bagay ay may tamang oras at panahon para maging perfect. Kaya ikaw, tama na yan. Magpahinga ka na. Magbubukas ba tayo ng kainan bukas? Ina smiled hard before cleaning the kitchen, thinking about what her father had said. After that day, she went to the market of San Fernando to buy all the ingredients needed. But before heading back home, she met an old lady. She has a long white hair covering her face. Her skin is wrinkled and she is wearing a long black dress with hoodie. She was holding a bag and a cane to support her. She looked up and smiled at Ina before handing the bag. The old lady said. Ina took the bag with confusion on her face. The old lady said. Ina looked what inside the bag and was surprised to see that it was a wooden ladle. When she looked back at the old lady to ask why she is giving it to her, it was already gone. Her eyes widened with shock after she realized that there was the only way back and forth to where she was. Fear entered her body. How could the old lady be able to walk fast that long road? She shrugged her shoulders and forgot what just happened. Ina came home safely and started preparing the food that she and her father would sell later. 30 minutes after, she recognizes the wooden ladle that the old lady gave her. When she tried to use it, the strange smell began to spread all over the kitchen. It has an enticing smell that gives everyone desire to taste what she was cooking. Anong bauan yun? Ang bango ah. Nakakagutom. Her father asked and entered the kitchen. A smile flashed on Ina's lips. Talaga po, tay? It was the first time her father praised her with her cooking. Her father walked towards her holding a spoon on his hand. Oo nga. Pwede tikman. Wah, ito po. Ina reached for the spoon and gave a scoop of the food to her father. When her father tasted what she had cooked, his brows furrowed. As Ina watched her father's reaction, she was disappointed. Akala ko'y magugustuhan mo, pero bis po sa reaksyon ng mukha niyo. She's not able to finish her sentence when her father started laughing. Ano bang sinasabi mo dyan? Manyaman kaya? Her father burst out laughing with what Ina said. Ano po? Paanong katulad lamang po ng dating mga rekados at paraan ng pagluto ang ginawa ko dyan? Ina asked in confusion. Ganun ba? Ha, McKenny, kulang ka kasi sa dedikasyon at puso ang gawa mo dati anak. Tandaan mo, hindi lahat ng bagay ay perpekto kaagad. Kailangan mong magantay at magtyaga anak. Her father answered. Ina was bothered 
by what has happened since that day. Everything she cooks doesn't taste like what she had cooked when she used the wooden ladle. One day, again, Ina tried to use the wooden ladle and everything is perfect. After that, she realized that the wooden ladle that the old lady gave her was magical.